good evening. Good evening. Hi, can you hear me? Hello. Hello, teacher. Hi, can you hear me? Yes, teacher, I can hear you. Excellent. I was about to change my device because I thought that you didn't hear me, but it's just that you wanna, don't want to speak today. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's just Sandra. Thank you. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and how are you doing? Well, um, a bad news for today. Uh, my second mom uh, died today. Oh, she passed away. Yeah. I'm sorry to hear that. Um, and that, that's kind of hard. Um, that yeah. it's, um, it's always sad. Mm -hmm. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Mm, yeah, I've been talking with my best friend and uh, she has been through the same situation, but uh, mama is still at the hospital. And one day the doctor said, Oh, I don't think she's going to be alive for tomorrow, but then today she's still alive. And uh, this oh. is like a back and forth, back and forth. And that is no word. Yeah. So just to say sorry is not enough. My God. Uh, well, um, I have a, an aunt there too in the same hospital. And my aunt is 91 years old. And my and my second mom was only sixty five years old, you know. Yeah, she was too young. Yeah, yeah. I think it's it's always difficult, but it's it's, yeah. it's harder when the person is young and pass away. Of course, yeah. yeah. Well, sorry yes. for saying anyway. that. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, and what about the rest of you? How are you doing? Excellent teacher. That's great to hear that. Okay, so today is Thursday and tomorrow Friday and the body mm -hmm. knows it. <laughs> you know how <laughs> classes tomorrow. Huh? No classes tomorrow, remember. Yeah, uh, class. Practice in the platform, do your exercise, ask for help whenever you need. Don't feel afraid to write in the chat and ask for help. The important thing is that you um, complete the exercises. And if you don't understand something, we can explain it in the class. Um, besides that, I will also like to remind you about the proof of the material. Have you sent that? Um, that paper recibimos un mensaje que menos de la mitad bueno los que ya lo hicieron no hagan caso verdad pero acuérdense que entre los requisitos para que ustedes puedan eh, recibir su diploma está el firmar el documentito en el que usted manifiesta tener acceso al material de la plataforma verdad ese documentito firmado eh, hay que mandarlo Creo que se los mandaron a ustedes ayer o antier para que lo mandaran firmado, ¿verdad? Ok, thank you so much, Joaquín. That document. Ajá, es una hojita, un PDF que yes. hay que firmarlo y mandarlo, ¿verdad? Yesterday I said. I did it. Yeah, you did it. Excellent. Thank you so much. Los que ya lo hicieron, perfecto. Muchas gracias. Y los que no, pues, por favor, háganlo porque sí, es, es muy importante que esté ese documentito ya en manos de las personas de administración. Yes. And, well, for today, I think we're going to finish the section number one. Yes. And we're going to continue with our presentation. That's the one that I have here. Uh, Right. <laughs> I got my internet. No, my God. I'm... 
Oh, no, no, no. Can you see my screen? Yes. Yeah. Okay. So we're going to continue, and this is, this is a group activity. And we're going to take turns asking and answering these questions. You have them in the material, also in the PowerPoint presentation that I sent on Monday. Uh, so let's repeat these questions. Let's practice. Who's your favorite male athlete? Who's your favorite male athlete? Male athlete. Why? 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 Who's your favorite female athlete? Who are three famous athletes in your country? Who are three famous athletes in your country? country? What's your favorite sport team? What's your favorite sport team? Do you ever watch sport on TV? Do you ever watch sport on TV? Which ones? Which one? Which Do you ever watch sports live? Do you, Do you ever, ever watch, watch sports live? live? Which one? Which, Which one? Which ones? What are two sports you don't like? What, what, what are, are two sports, sports that you don't like? like? What sport or activity do you want to try? What, what sport or activity do you want to try? Do you have any question about this um, exercise? Everything is clear. It's clear. Okay, so we're going to practice speaking, asking this question. Okay. Okay, let me create the breakout room so you can practice. Uh, for a couple of minutes speaking, and then we're going to continue. <laughs> You can always ask and ask for help in case that you need it. Okay. 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 Maybe. Uh, do you have who the questions? Start, or who, 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 have the, who have the questions? Ah, uh, it's in the, in the WhatsApp oh, group. Okay, okay. I got it. Hi, Claudia. Are you there? Can you listen to us? Hi. Yes, Claudia. It's, it's a pleasure to see you again. Jorge. Oh, hi. Okay. Todo cortado, les escucho. <coughs> ah, okay. Don't worry. So, eh, puede ser la señal. Okay. Eh, I didn't have a lot of uh, favorite sports because in, when I was in high school, I only practiced uh, basketball. And teacher, how do you say it? football de mano? Huh? Teacher? Yes, I can hear you. How? Handball. How do you say football handball. de mano? Handball. Handball. Yes. Hand, okay. like a hand and ball. Uh, Okay. When I was in the high school, I only played uh, basketball and handball. And so, uh, I only know only about that. But 
maybe for a team. Okay. Who's your favorite male athlete? Fitness. Who is your favorite male athlete? In, in our country. In Esu... I, yes, in our country. It can be from our, our yeah. country. Like, for example, my favorite male athlete is El Magico, Jorge El Magico Gonzalez. Magico Gonzalez. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Jorge Magico Gonzalez. <laughs> Uh -huh. Or you can invent. I, I don't have a favorite, but in order to speak, and uh, <laughs> you have to invent. I can just Yeah. Ah, okay. Okay, Joaquin, tell us about your favorite athlete. Favorite, fa favorite athletic. Um, bueno, my favorite family athletic is. Uh, um, Uh, Evelyn Garcia. Evelyn Garcia. Oh, she is a yes, she is a a, a, a family athlete. Basically. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. I remember. Ah, okay, that's so good. Okay. Do you have other athletes, or is the only one? <laughs> In this moment, I don't remember. Es la única. <laughs> okay, don't worry. Okay. Eh, Areli. Tell us about your favorite. How oh, many years ago, Martina Navratilova okay. or Gabriela Sabatini as a uh, yeah. female at uh, tennis, uh, 80, no, 80s, 80s, and 19. So, okay. okay. Evelyn, who's your favorite female athlete? Um, maybe Serena Williams. Huh? Okay. Tennis, tennis. Very good. Okay. Liliana. Elizabeth, who's your favorite female actor? Liliana. Who's the best female actor? My favorite female actor. I don't. <laughs> I don't like uh, export athletes, and I like um, seeing um, other uh, other person. I don't athlete. Ah, uh, okay, okay. Why? Uh, why don't? But, but, but why don't uh, like, like the athletes? I don't watch TV. Never uh, okay. watch TV, and I my time. Um, I work in very, very, very time so much, and you know watch TV um, all time. No, nope. don't have time. Don't have time for these things. No, okay, Good. no, okay, Robert, your turn. Uh, okay, and who are three famous athletes in your country, Oscar? Eh, Se nos quedó Liliana, o ya había respondido Liliana, perdón. Yes, I don't, I don't favorite female athletes. Okay. Don't have. Um, okay. um, uh, repeat, the, repeat the, the question, please. Who are three famous athletes in your country? In my country, three famous athletes. Um, number one, um, uh, athletes. Uh, uh, the soccer, soccer beach or so, um, soccer beach, uh, football de playa. Uh, select de playa. <laughs> uh, select, uh, the, the select of of beach. <laughs> I don't know what this. I don't know what. Creo que no tiene traducción. Selecta de playa porque es local. The soccer beach team. Soccer beach team. Soccer beach team. That's good. Okay. Uh, 
Okay. The, the name is um, the, the National Soccer Agustin Ruiz. <laughs> Repeat, please help me. I was in Ruiz. I was in. Seeing... In, uh, okay. And um, the second name, uh, the famous atlas in my country, um, Pele Zapata. Um, and the third name uh, is um, Pajarito. Number was, one. <laughs> the, the, number one, uh, Jorge El Magico Gonzalez. Yeah. Okay. He's the, he's the okay. most famous. Yeah, you're like a national hero. <laughs> yes. Okay. Okay. Uh, Liliana, no. Uh, next question. What's your favorite sports team? My favorite sport team is soccer. Soccer of Spain. Okay. Fourteen. Fourteen. The name of the sport team. For example, Barcelona, Real Madrid. Ah, yes, Bar Barcelona, Argentina. Qué difícil. Todo es de deporte y de televisión y no veo ninguna de las dos cosas. <laughs> difícil para responder. Para difícil para mí. Ni inventado. Ajá. Right. Le voy a Ni con copia. A ok. Continue, continue. Do you ever watch sport on TV? Do you ever watch sport on TV? Uh, 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 sometimes, uh, in Sunday, for example, uh, I watch sport on TV. Uh, 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 it's a Liga Premier League. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Yo entré tarde. <laughs> ok, Yo bueno, ahí lo voy a mirar. No estaban mandando y no me percaté que nos metieron en grupo. <laughs> ok. <laughs> ya me ha pasado. A veces falta un segundo y en el un segundo, uy, y ya me meto. <laughs> Sí, es cierto, pero bueno. Bueno, si no, ahí nos adaptamos ahí cuando ya estemos en, en el, todos en la reunión. Ya está, yo creo ya no pasaron todos a la reunión. Yeah, yeah, I think that everybody is here now. <laughs> ok. No, worry, Mar Marjorie. <laughs> We try to answer, teacher. We try. I'm sorry? We try. Can, he, can you hear me? Yes, I can. Okay, we try to answer. Uh, the question is so very, very difficult. Yeah, oh. it's true. Why is it difficult for you? Uh, because, okay, go ahead. <laughs> for example, Why? what the, what the, uh, my favorite um, athletes in my country. Yeah, it's true. Today? It's difficult. Your favorite athlete. Yeah, in this country. The only I, name I remember is Jorge Gonzalez. Jorge El Magico. <laughs> Rafa Burgo. Yeah. Rafa Burgo. Very fun. Uh, yeah, I understand because I, I think that we don't, uh, in our culture, maybe we, we are not so like fan, sports fans or fan, it's, it's because of culture, I think. But but at least you you tried you practice and you tried and I think that you had fun. Yes, very fun. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that is important too. Um, okay, so uh, to continue with the topic, um, one year. Okay. Um, well, in this, you have an exercise in your material is to write about your favorite sport or activity, since if you don't like a sport, um, um, you can write about any other activity that you love, try to um, write a little paragraph or a short paragraph using 
frequency hours that would be great. Like, for example, I love to exercise. I usually work out every day. I get up early in the morning and go jogging for about 30 minutes. Then I often go to the gym and do yoga. Sometimes I play tennis in the afternoon. So the important thing here is to practice using the frequency adverse. Um, if you don't like a sport or you're not a sports fan, you can write about any other activity that, that you enjoy doing. Uh, uh, for example, you can write um, about uh, your weekends or your normal routine. For example, I love uh, I love cooking, right? Not maybe not about exercise, but I really yeah. love cooking. I usually prepare, and you you start. I usually or I always prepare special foods on weekends for my family because it's when I have more time uh, during the week. I usually cook um, traditional meals. I always try to make pupusas on Friday night. Yes, so I'm practicing, I'm writing about something that I do, and I am using frequency adverbs. It is not necessary to, to do it based on the sports activities, because I know it's not a mirror. You can write about something else that you enjoy. And you have a message? Put in practice, put into practice the frequency adverse. And okay. you have the sample paragraph here. Whenever you have time, you can, even though you can find it relaxing, uh, uh, you can do it well. Um, eh, de repente estamos cansaditos en la tarde, no estamos ahí descansando. Pueden escribir un párrafo. A veces es hasta relajante ponerse a escribir. Un poquito, un párrafo chiquito, así en inglés tomando este como base, aunque no lo hagan específicamente de deportes, ¿verdad? Unos cinco o diez minutitos de su fin de semana, escriban un parrafito chiquito. Y aquí tienen un ejemplo. So, um, let's see, we have a conversation and it's about the same thing, right? It's, we're going to continue talking about the sports and frequency adverbs, yes? I have a question. In this is a homework, the paragraph. No, no, no. Este es un ejercicio que tienen en su material. Mm -hmm. Lo tienen okay. en el material que descargaron de de la plataforma. Entonces ese material ustedes lo pueden ir trabajando al mismo tiempo trabajando lo lo que es la plataforma y cualquier duda que tengan respecto a los ejercicios del material. O de la plataforma me lo pueden hacer saber en el clase. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, this is the conversation. The topic is I'm a real fitness freak. Okay. I'm a real fitness freak. So we're going to listen to the conversation, watch the video, and then we're going to practice it. Okay. Uh, In this class, you will listen and follow a conversation about. Can you listen the video? Physical skills. Hi, yeah. everyone. Yeah. Are you ready to listen to another conversation? This time, we will learn to ask questions using how. Listen and repeat. I'm a real fitness freak. You're in great shape, Keith. Thanks. I guess I'm a real fitness freak. How often do you work out? Well, I do aerobics twice a week, and I play tennis every week. Tennis? That sounds like a lot of fun. Oh. Do you want to play sometime? Uh, how well do you play? Pretty well, I guess. Well, all right, but I'm not very good. No problem. I'll give you a few tips. Okay. 
Uh, do you have any question about this conversation, vocabulary or pronunciation? Yes, teacher. Go ahead. Yes, okay. What does it mean, fitness freak? A fitness freak is un maniático del ejercicio. Oh, <laughs> maniático. Es, es como decir, soy loca ejercicio. Yeah. Oh, mm -hmm. uh -huh. that's it. In uh, in what workout? Es uh, ejercitarse. Ah, ejercitarse, yeah. practicar, workout. Thank you very much, teacher. You're welcome. Any Sorry, other? Uh, have a yes, question. Great, Jay. What is? Yes, I have the same question. Which one What's is? In shape. Shape. Uh -huh. shape. Yes. En forma. En forma. Ah, uh, yeah, okay. Okay. And pretty yes. well. Pretty well. Bastante bien. Pretty well. Bastante bien, yes. Pretty well. Okay. Wow. Okay. Pretty well. Mm -hmm. Work up. Eh? Ah, sí. Work up. ¿Cómo es? What is Work the out. Work out. Work out. Okay. Work out. Work out. Any other question? Yes. yes. Oh. So, a lot. Oh, my God. I, I, I couldn't hear you. You're breaking off. Did you leave? Good evening. Uh, that means that so, yeah. A play any. Tennis that's like a lot of fun. Tennis, I think I think I got that you want to know the meaning of that sounds like a lot of fun. Yeah, that's what that means. Uh, when you say that uh, that sounds like a lot of fun, is eso suena divertido. Ah, suena muy divertido. Yes, that sounds like a lot of fun. Uh, is there any other question before we proceed to practicing group? That sounds like a lot of fun. That, that sounds, sounds like, like a lot of fun. That sounds like a lot of fun. That sounds like a lot of fun. Excellent. <gasps> wow. <laughs> That sounds like a lot of fun. That sounds like a lot of fun. Yeah, <laughs> great. <laughs> sure. What is the meaning of the great shape? En gran forma, en buena forma. Great, okay. fantastic. Mm -hmm. okay. Thank you very much. Okay. Teacher, uh, want a question? Yes. Eh, ¿Cómo eh, se, eh, o qué significa all give you a few tips? Uh, I'll, give you, tips. I'll give you a I'll few, give you a, a few I'll tips. I'll give you a yeah. few tips. Yeah. Un, a tips es como consejos, como truquitos. Te daré unos cuantos trucos. Te voy a dar unos cuantos consejos. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, pero es, es unido como a few tips. A few, a few tips. Few tips. A few okay. tips. tips. I'll give okay. you a few tips. Okay. Thank you. Great. Another question, Roberto? The yes. Yes. Uh, ¿Cuál es la diferencia de Fibner? Roberto, no lo escucho. 
You're breaking up. Creo que quería decir cuál era la diferencia entre fitness y grab strip. Fitness uh -huh. y fitness. Grab strip. Lo de la primera. Great. Great shape. ¿Me ah, escucha a ti? Sí, sí. Ajá. ¿Cuál es la diferencia de fitness freak en Jorca? Es que fitness, uh, fitness freak, ahí está diciendo yo soy un maniático del deporte. Y el workout es ejercitarse, practicar, se refiere a la práctica. Ah, ok. Uh -huh. Ok, let's practice uh, together. Let's repeat. You're in great shape, Kate. You're in great shape, Kate. Thanks. I guess I'm a real fitness freak. Yes. Thanks. I guess I'm a real fitness freak. How often do you work out? How often do you work out? Well, I do aerobic twice a week and play tennis every week. Tennis? That sounds like a lot of fun. Tennis? Oh, do you want to play sometime? Oh, do you want to play sometime? Uh, how well do you play? Uh, how well do you play? Do you play? Pretty well, I guess. Pretty well, I guess. Well, all right, but I'm not very good. Well, well all right. right. I'm not very good. No problem. I'll give you a few tips. No problem. Now you're ready to practice in group. Yes. Uh, give me a chance to get the collection. good. Come on. Recreate with three participants. Three, four. Okay, let's go ahead and practice. Join okay. the group, please. Le apreté que no por accidente. Sí, yo también apreté que no por accidente. Yeah, yeah. You are Ruth and me, Kate. Okay. Yes. I think I'm going to compartir your pantalla. I am Ruth, right? right. Claudia, okay. usted no tiene el material? Necesita que le compartan. Yo no lo, no lo he descargado. Por favor. Permítame. I'm sharing my screen in case you want to take a picture or a screenshot. Yes, I, 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 I. Okay. Okay. ¿Pueden verlo? No. Todo oh, está cargando. Yes. Yes. Ok. Ahí en Ruth. Um, Thank you. Marjorie. Okay. You are... You're welcome. Ok. Kate. 
Okay, okay. Okay. Okay, you in do it. Okay. Thanks, I guess I am real. In the speak. How often do you work, work out? Work out. Well, work out. Well, I do aerobics twice a week and I play tennis every week. Tennis? That sounds like a lot of fun. Oh, do you want to do play something? Uh, how well do you play? Pretty well, I guess. Well, all right, but I'm not very good. No problem. I'll give you a few tips. Uh, okay. Um, okay, Claudia. I eh, voy a hacer root. Okay. Okay. You're, you're in gray. Shape can't. Me again? Oh. Okay. And okay. I guess I am real business free. How often do you work? Uh, well, I do aerobics twice a week and I play tennis every week. Tennis? That's unlike a lot of fun. A lot of them. Oh, do you want to do play something? Oh, how well do you play? Pretty well, I guess. Well, I write, but I am not very good. No problem. I give you a few tips. Mm -hmm. Okay, ahora yo soy Rudy. I am Kate. Okay. Okay. Uh, you're in great shape, Kate. Thanks. I guess I'm only in a break. How often do you work out? Well, I do aerobics this a week and I play tennis every week. Tennis? That sounds like a lot of fun. Oh, do you want to play sometime? Oh, uh, how well do you play? Pretty well, I guess. Well, all right, but I'm not very good. No problem. I'll give you a few tips. Okay. Uh, now. Thank you, I have kind. Okay. Okay, yo soy Ruth. <laughs> Antes de que se nos acabe el tiempo. Okay. You raise. You raise a cake. Ten, I guess. Okay. <laughs> you are gay? Yes. Okay. Thanks, I guess I'm always in a break. How often do you work out? Well, I do I do it a week and I play tennis every week. Tennis? That sounds like a lot of fun. Uh, do you want to play sometime? Uh, how well do you play? Pretty well, I guess. Well, all right. Okay, I listened to a couple of groups and you were doing a very, very good job uh, with pronunciation. You're doing it in a, um, in a way that 
you're improving every day, you're improving, you're learning new vocabulary, and that's fantastic. And how do you feel so far? Yes. Roberta tiene la mano levantada. Do you have a question or, or want to say something? Yes, teacher, I have a question. Y quiero saber cómo, donde le dice Ruth, tenis, that song, that sound, that I love, a found. ¿Cómo, ¿Cómo se pronuncia todo eso? Y escuché que usted lo dijo. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that sounds like a lot of fun. Like a lot of... Like a lot of, like a lot of fun. Like a lot of fun. Yes, that sounds like a lot of fun. Ah, that sounds like a lot of fun. Great, <laughs> excellent. <laughs> yes, that's the way. And remember that this is uh, this is about repetition. Don't get tired. Don't get bored of repeating. The more you repeat, the better you get in this. Okay, that's okay. repetition. Okay, that sounds like a lot of fun. Great, excellent. You did okay. it. Thank you, this Okay, um, let's continue. Sure. Yes? Uh, I am difficult in, in pronunciation. I am a real fitness freak or freak. 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 Okay. Excellent. Freak. freak. Okay, yes. thank you. Mm -hmm. You're welcome. Okay, thank you. Any other question? Teacher, what is the meaning shape? Shape. I don't remember. Uh -huh. Shape. Shape and forma. Okay. Forma. Shape. Si dicen you are in shape, estás en forma. You're in good shape. Okay. So I'm going to check attendance and then we're going to continue. So uh, let me get the file. Mm -hmm. Got it. Wow, we finished the first week of class. Okay. Adrián Ernesto. I'm here, teacher. Ana Yancy Orellana. I'm here, teacher. Candida Janet. Present, teacher. Cecilia Elizabeth. I'm here. Claudia Patricia. I am here, teacher. Diego Arturo. Present, teacher. Evelyn Elizabeth. Present. Evelyn Liliana. I'm here. Evelyn Mariela. Present. Ismael Eliseo. Present teacher. Jerry Alejandro. Present teacher. Joana Celina. I'm here teacher. Joaquin Ramirez. Here I am teacher. Jonathan Isaac. I'm here. Jorge Alberto. Good evening, here I am. Good evening. Jose Manuel. Present. Judith del Carmen. Present. Liliana Margarita. Present. María Susena. Present. Marjorie Vanessa. Present, teacher. Melida Rebeca. Present. Oscar René. Present teacher. Natalia Emperatriz. Present. Senior Adelie. I'm here. Roberto Adonai. Present. Roberto Carlos. I'm here, teacher. Romulo Edgardo. I'm here. Sandra Araceli. Present, teacher. Stephanie Roxana. Present. Jessica Areli. Jessica Arely. Ok. 
Okay, all right. Let's see who wrote in the chat. Anna. Yes, Anna. Sí, la escuché. Okay, thank you for uh, it. Is, it's perfect. It's just like keep on, um, keep that way. Uh, I know that it's difficult because the weather is like crazy and many people is getting sick because they are in the flu, but they are still here. Uh, si estos días mucha gente está como con gripe, con malestar, pero algunos se siguen conectando, and that's important. Pero si un día, pues, acuérdense que siempre pasan las emergencias, pero si, si ustedes tienen fuercecitas, por lo menos para escuchar la clase, Excellent. Go ahead and do it. Um, en esa forma se evitan, ¿verdad? Inconveniente, ¿verdad? Que les digan, no, fíjense que sí tiene 10 en la plataforma, sí 10 con que llenó todos los um, papeles, pero en la asistencia no, ¿verdad? Entonces, uh, so, acuérdense que son varias cosas que, que requisitos, ¿verdad? El primero yo creo que es el que acaban de completar, ¿verdad? Y los que no lo han hecho, por favor, mándenlo. El documento de que tenían que firmar, de que tienen acceso al, al material de la plataforma, que lo han descargado, right? So, firmar, por favor, ese documento y mandarlo. Eso es importante que lo hagan ya. Creo que para ayer ya tenían que haberlo mandado. Si no lo han hecho, por favor, háganlo. Eh, lo segundo es, pues, hay una encuesta que también hacen como al casi antes de finalizar el módulo, también es obligación que la llenen. Eh, entregar sus papeles a tiempo, tener completa la plataforma y la asistencia, con un mínimo de ocho la plataforma. ¿verdad? Acuérdense que pueden corregir la respuesta las veces que sea necesario. Eh, la plataforma está 24-7, así que pueden llenarla a cualquier hora, ¿verdad? Y cualquier pregunta que tengan, duda, ejercicio que no les salga bien, escriban, ¿verdad? Para que no se vayan a... Y, por favor, vayan adelante. Ahorita, por lo menos este fin de semana, deberían de terminar la sección 1 y empezar a trabajar la sección 2. Tienen que ir adelante, si es posible. Eh, ¿Dudas? ¿Preguntas? No questions, no doubt. No question, teacher. No va a haber presencial, teacher. Eh, ya está autorizado en la academia. Eh, solo eh, no sé qué es lo que falte para, pero sí van a haber clases presenciales pronto. Ojalá. <ríe> y estoy interesado en las presenciales. Yes. Ok. Siempre este inglés corporativo siempre ha tenido ambos, eh, ha tenido ambas modalidades. No, no son los que viven lejos, siempre van a tener la opción de seguir en línea. Y pues ya cuando la cosa se normalice, ¿verdad? Y, y volvamos a las aulas, pues ahí van a estar presenciales. Pero okay. sí, pronto, primero Dios. I um, prefer like. You don't like? I am prefer on like. Like, okay. I, I like both ways. A mí me gusta de ambas formas. It's okay for me. Uh, usualmente estoy en ambas modalidades. Estaba en la academia y también estaba en línea. And I like both ways. It's a good answer, teacher. Teacher, because I have to work every day. Okay, so you have the two options. You will have the, the options online, and if you can go to the academy, you can go. Okay, okay. so let's continue. Todavía me siento como resfriadoso, but I'm okay. All right, so we have this listening exercise. Uh, so it is I'm terrible at the sport. We're going to listen to Dan, Sally, and Phil discuss about the sport and exercise. And you will have to write who is a couch potato, who is a fitness freak, 
who's a sport nut and who's a gym rat? Questions with this? No. What is a sport nut? Es como un fanático, una persona loquita por los deportes, un fanático de los deportes. Pero entonces es similar a fitness freak. Um, it's similar, but in this case, it's como un fan de esos que hasta se ven como tontitos. <laughs> Locos que se pintan y cosas así. Uh -huh. Y a Jean Rat? Es como... Uh, es alguien que solo pasa metido en el gimnasio. Es una rata del gimnasio. Ajá. Uh -huh. Y hay, hay, hay gente que, que eso es como decir... Um, eh, cucaracha de biblioteca o de la casa, ¿verdad? No necesariamente están, mucha gente no necesariamente están en ejer haciendo ejercicio, ¿verdad? Sino que solo están ahí por estar, andan platicando. <risa> por eso, miren, la ratilla de gimnasio no está tan bien como el otro que dice que es fitness freak. So that may be the difference. Okay, so we're going to listen. You pay attention and say, was Dan number one, two, three, or four? Just write the name. If it is number one, the coach potato is Sally, you write one Sally, and so on. I'm going to share the audio so you can develop this exercise. Let me share my screen. And put the audio and share down. Okay. Hey, let's listen. Page 40, exercise 12, listening. I'm terrible at sports. Listen to Dan, Jean, Sally, and Phil discuss sports and exercise. Who is a couch potato? A fitness freak? A sports nut? Can you listen? Are you listening to the recording? Yes. 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 Okay. Okay. Yes, I listen. A gym rat. How good are you at sports, Dan? Are you kidding? I'm terrible, but I love to watch sports. I go to baseball games all the time. My favorite team is the Tigers, and I buy three or four different sports magazines every week. Wow. Do you like sports, Jean? Oh, yes. I like to exercise, but I don't watch sports very much, and I never buy sports magazines. How much time do you spend exercising? Well, I guess I exercise about two or three hours a day. I do aerobics at home three times a week, and the other days I go swimming. Oh, and sometimes I go bicycling. That's great. Sally, you're in great shape, too. Thanks. I go to the gym six days a week. Six days a week? Wow. I love the gym. I run on the treadmill and then do weight training for about an hour. And what about you, Phil? Oh, I'm too lazy to play sports. I really hate exercising, and I almost never go to any sporting events. In my free time, I like to sit with my feet up and watch my favorite TV shows. You want to listen again? Yes, please. Yes, please. Please, teacher. Yes, okay. repeating again. Page 40, exercise 12, listening. I'm terrible at sports. Listen to Dan, Jean, Sally, and Phil discuss sports and exercise. Who is a couch potato? A fitness freak? A sports nut? A gym rat? How good are you at sports, Dan? Are you kidding? I'm terrible, but I love to watch sports. I go to baseball games all the time. My favorite team is the Tigers and I buy three or four different sports magazines every week. Wow. Do you like sports, Jean? Oh, yes. I like to exercise, but I don't watch sports very much, and I never buy sports magazines. How much time do you spend exercising? Well, I guess I exercise about two or three hours a day. I do aerobics at home three times a week, and the other days I go swimming. Oh, and sometimes I go bicycling. That's great. Sally, you're in great shape, too. Thanks. I go to the gym six days a week. Six days a week? Wow. I love the gym. 
I run on the treadmill and then do weight training for about an hour. And what about you, Phil? Oh, I'm too lazy to play sports. I really hate exercising, and I almost never go to any sporting events. In my free time, I like to sit with my feet up and watch my favorite TV shows. Okay, did you complete it? Yes. 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 Okay, why do you have a number one? Free. Feel. Feel. Feel is a cushion. I'm done. Number two? Feel is a cushion. Jim, 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 <laughs> yeah, and then was number three. Yeah, and Sally four. Yeah, horse. <laughs> Sally, Sally is a G red. Yeah, Sally yes. is a G red. Yes, yes, yes. It's a it's a Sally. Sally is a G red. Right. Okay. What's the answer? Is it easy, difficult? Teacher, ¿verdad que en el material hay varias cosas diferentes en las diapositivas que se ha enviado? Uh, I'm sorry, can you repeat it, please? Eh, hay en el material que nos enviaron eh, para firmarlo. Verdad que hay bastantes cosas diferentes porque, por ejemplo, aquí tengo el material y es, bueno, un poco diferente a lo que, o sea, pues en las diapositivas. Yes, it's quite different. I explained, uh, bueno, les explico de nuevo el material que ustedes descargaron de la plataforma. Es, bueno, se lo ejercitan, eh, yo podría ayudarles a trabajar en el libro, ¿verdad? hacerlo aquí en clases. La idea es que ustedes lo hagan, eh, al menos, pues, en lo personal, me gusta trabajar así. Yo okay. creo las diapositivas para que ustedes tengan ejercicios diferentes. Okay. El, el listening, en los material que ustedes tienen, que han descargado, no está. Sí aparece en lo que descargan, pero no están los audios. Solo están los audios de los knowledge check. Entonces, por eso yo les incluyo más ejercicio para que tengan más práctica. Y son, eh, son un poquito diferentes. Son del mismo tema, pero es una versión adelante. Uh -huh. Para que siempre okay. tengan el chance de practicar el listening. Y trato de mandárselas antes para que pues el, el que pueda imprimirlo lo imprima. Y si no, pues, este, pues ya lo tengan a la mano ahí descargadito. Pero la idea es esa. Eh, en lo personal, podría quedarme a ver solo los videos de la plataforma y ayudarles a resolver los ejercicios, pero siento que se aprovecha más si les pongo más ejercicios y más practicar speaking y, y otros siempre relacionados al tema. No me salgo del tema tampoco, ¿verdad? Pero, Igual, si hay alguna sugerencia o algo que ustedes quieran que haga diferente, me lo pueden hacer saber. No problem. No, that's, that's very, very good, teacher. It's a uh, help me. Thank you. I love speaking. Yes. Speaking is important. Yes. So, yo de verdad prefiero que aprovechen el tiempo practicando speaking. En la plataforma son unos cuantos ejercicios, cinco ejercicios que serán. Los pueden hacer rapidito ustedes, ¿verdad? Eh, lo okay. que sí quiero que desarrollen más en, en este tiempo es que escuchen, que hablen, ¿verdad? Que pronuncien. Eh, que es cosa que no lo pueden hacer solitos cuando están con la plataforma, ¿verdad? Entonces, siento que se aprovecha más así esta hora. But that is my opinion. Eso es como lo veo yo. Si ustedes quieren, siempre que si ustedes quieren algo más, eh, díganme. Igual que les digo ahorita, pues por cuestión de tiempo me quedaron como...
como dos diapositivas más, pero las vamos a ver. Nosotros vamos oh. a cubrir el material. Mi idea no es ir corriendo, ¿verdad? Y a cubrir todo. Porque no puede, para mí no tiene chiste ir corriendo a cubrir todo y que ustedes no entiendan nada. O que no uh -huh. aprendieron una palabra nueva. O no les dije qué significaba. Entonces, vamos a un paso... Tampoco quiero ir muy lenta, ¿verdad? Pero solo me quedaron como dos días. Pues, no, como dos días vamos a hacer rapidito el lunes. Okay. Okay. Y cualquier okay. tema que a ustedes no les quede claro, díganme, porque siempre nos queda tiempo para repasar. Entonces, cualquier tema que ustedes me digan, mire, yo siento que de verdad se me dificultan los adverbs of frequency, yo vuelvo el tema. Uh, preparo un material diferente, preparo más ejercicios porque la idea es que usted aprenda y para eso estamos nosotros, ¿verdad? Para ayudarles. Entonces, sí, cualquier tema, vayan anotando algún tema que no entiendan muy bien y si no me lo quieren decir aquí en la clase, me pueden escribir a mi personal teacher, tal tema yo no lo entendí, quisiera que lo explique mejor, ¿verdad? O que lo vuelva a explicar. So, that's no problem, I can do that for you. Mm -hmm. Okay, teacher. We are in a great yeah. shape. <laughs> Enjoy your weekend. Remember, especially Sandra, Sandra Araceli. Wow, awesome. Yeah. Right, fantastic. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thank you. Enjoy your weekend. I, I, I think the same from you. Thank you. Okay, excellent. Uh, Wear your mask. Okay. Safe. Okay. <laughs> Take care, please. Yeah, take care. Bye, everybody. Bye -bye. Enjoy. Bye -bye. See you on Monday. Thank you. Good See you Monday. Bye-bye. See you Monday. Bye. See you Monday. Bye. Bye. Bye.